Foxy Effects Lab is now the virtual production front end to all Fox projects. Virtual production, it's kind of two words Jim Cameron and I kind of put together. <laughs> we couldn't fly a film crew to Pandora, so we had to come up with a way to do this, and by sort of mishmashing all of these various technologies together, we were able to, you know, film the movie in a motion capture space similar to what you're seeing here. Our storytellers get to live in a completely virtualized environment, put on a VR headset, look around, see the world at scale, see their actors playing the parts of those characters in real time. Virtual production couldn't really exist before you could do motion capture practically on set, and that required a lot of compute horsepower. There was no question about that. What's the best possible piece of hardware that we can use to help our storytellers work as quickly as they can? Time is our most valuable asset. A director or a producer walking by, they're not going to sit around and wait for something to render. They want to see it now. When the Threadripper showed up, that was like the coolest band these guys had ever heard came to town and played a show for them. Light baking for us is a big deal. With the Threadripper machines, with all the cores in them, you know, I mean, that gets done a heck of a lot faster. The Threadripper has kind of like um, created this kind of shadow empire of rendering capability. With the Threadrippers, we were seeing a 20, 30 percent increase just right out of the gate per artist. Having AMD facilitate that acceleration is, is instrumental to what we're doing here. AMD has really shown that they're very interested in this space. They really want to help content creators. It's nice to have a partner in the industry that uh, looks you in the eye. This is unique. I've worked on other shows with other large uh, uh, distributors. And yeah, you get, you get your hardware, but they're, but they're not necessarily listening to what exactly you're looking for. And, and AMD has been doing that. Early on, uh, some, some sort of prototype hardware was dropped off by AMD. We were able to you know, run it through its paces, and then at that point we were going, who do we turn to to get many workstations? We're going to need 50 workstations. How do we get there? And uh, very quickly, uh, 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 the guys at AMD introduced us to uh, Box Technologies, and they were able to come up with some uh, hardware kit uh, very rapidly and, uh, and at a reasonable price point. Um, so how is Box as a as a partner, um, you know, they were, they were kind of the enabler, quite frankly. Um, we had a couple of things going on. Uh, unlike a lot of facilities, we don't have a huge staff of artists. We have, um, we have a, good, a good number of artists working in the facility, but all those artists that are really high level. So each machine that these artists get has to be really powerful. So that was, you know, that was the thing. And the other thing is that we don't want interruption because they're usually on really super tort, short time schedules. So what Box allowed us to do was to say, look, we want to spec this kind of ridiculously powerful workstation, at least, you know, for the time and for the, t I mean, typically, you know, a lot of production facilities, they try to say, well, let's get something that's reasonable. Let's get something that's, you know, kind of middle of the road powerful. Um, you know, in this case, we were like, no, this has really got to be top, you know, top end because we can't have, these artists are working very fast. It's a small team. It's a really specialized set of knowledge. So, you know, they've got to be fully supported to work as quickly as they can. I mean, very often these artists are actually literally, you know, getting, uh, you know, have the director or the producer breathing down their neck saying, okay, well, when is it going to be ready? Because they're on set shooting. That is the worst time to ask an artist to do anything. So you've got to fully support them. Um, so with Box as a partner, the thing was we said, well, look, these things have to be reliable. They have to be able to run on set and they have to be hideously fast. So, you know, Box said, okay, well, here's our solution. And by the way, now we're going to burn them in and test them and make sure that it's all right, you know, that the BIOS works and that, you know, the OS, the, the version of the OS you want to run on is correct. And, you know, they've been really great about that. And then the other part of it, too, was, you know, we were really nervous about, well, what if a machine breaks? We know that inevitably, you know, we're going to have some percentage of that, you know, for whatever reason, because, the, you know, computers are complicated. Something's going to break. It's like in a car. How are we going to get that repaired? So, you know, boxes, well, you just put it in a box and you send it back to box and they send you another box and you're kind of there. So it actually, you know, and the turnaround has really been super fast on that, you know, so we're, we've been very pleased with that. So between our very small number of spares, you know, in our very large number of machines and uh, that quick turnaround with them, they've been really great. Last thing then really, uh, so, I mean, aside from the, the innovation with box of, you know, building really powerful machines, um, we've now gotten to a point in our relationship with them where, you know, we're telling them, well, we'd like to have this kind of a machine. And, you know, they're opening it up and they said, well, you know, we built this kind of a, 
we built a you know one U or two U rack mounted you know water cooled you know multi GPU system for these other people who we can or can't tell you about, but the design is available. You know, so you know now you know they've kind of opened it up, and it's gone all the way out to uh, building what we call a trophy case, which we now want to kind of show off machines. <laughs> so, in the early days of the work here, we built two or three prototype machines, and the people who built them kept them. But aside from that, literally every other machine here is is made by Box. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. Not only that, the fun thing with those things is that the engineering of these um, of the frames and everything, and the water cooling systems, and how they all fit together is so great that we've actually, they're kind of a resource for us to now. So we actually take apart the box machines and rebuild them ourselves in different ways and kind of mix and match and do things with them. Um, you know, if we need particular components in there that we didn't uh, have in the original uh, thing. And then we go back to box and say, hey, look what we did, you know, and they go, oh, that's interesting. We could do that for you next time. You know, so it's, it's been that kind of a thing.